So this is the the the, the um, this is the magazine that you get when uh when you save Manfred, like when if Carl doesn't die. The three laws of robotic parenting. Family life has never has never been a little bit of that. Family life has never been easier. When CyberLife initially released their child range, the public was skeptical of purchasing a family. Now the collection is one of CyberLife's bestsellers, but is it really a surprise? Customizable, removable LEDs, no hunger, no expensive childcare, no clothes, and not to mention no smelly diapers. The perfect child is only a click away. All it needs is all its needs can be suspended at the touch of a button. It's child's play. It's stress-free. So it's a stress. It's the stress-free solution for career-oriented parents, those struggling to have their own children or miss having a, a youngster at home. With unemployment at 37.3%, $7,500 for a child that avoids the dreaded teenage years and shelling out for college, it seems a wise investment compared to 350000 over 17 years. But plus, it doesn't have to be a life, lifelong commitment. But sociologist Mary Wallace argues that these androids are leading fewer parents to having to having children at a, at a time where our birth dates are already far too low. What the fuck does that birth rates are already far too low? Con contributing to what she terms the baby boom. Oh, okay. J Jason Graff, director of humanization and cyber life, dismisses these claims as the usual resistance to new ideas, calling these new androids a triumphant humanization design. This is some creepy shit. Like, I'm not a... G I... I First, I just want to say, like, it's not the same thing as having, like, the whole point of having kids isn't to accessorize. The point of having a child isn't so that you can be like, yeah, I got a kid. It's not to, like, have a thing that, like, hangs off your arm. It's, it's meant to carry on your fucking legacy, like, your, your bloodline, like, male or female. I mean, if it's a male, then it carries on your name as long as it ain't gay or if it on a pussy and ends up taking the, the wife's name. But you know what I mean? But, with that being said, would the legality of fucking one of them come up? Because I feel like that would even, somewhere along the lines, that would have to come up. Like, that would have to come up at some point, whether or not, you know, having sex with a robotic, an android kid, whether or not that would be illegal. And I feel like, Given that most people don't consider them real anyway, this would blur the lines because I feel like there would be people who 100% feel like that's too far, but still don't consider the Android children real. But then there, and then there would be people who clearly just doesn't don't give a fuck either way, because they would probably relish some idea of the fucking androids being abused in whatever way possible. That shit's weird. That's weird. It's, it's hella weird. Yeah. It's, 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 I don't know if I like it. God. Then again, I like, ba I like babies. I like kids. I like kids. I like babies. So, like, the idea of, like, but you don't have to feed it. Like, yeah, but I like watching kids eat. It's, it's weird, but I like it. Like, I like watching a toddler try something new for the first time and, like, just watching their face figure out whether or not they like this. I, like, no, like, diapers suck, but people like dogs, and I mean, pretty sure robotic dogs would be, like, the next thing if they weren't the first thing. I mean, they already have robotic birds, so, yeah, they clearly have android dogs. But, I mean, the question would then be, like, how long until that's all that's left? Because it kind of reminds me of, um, I'm going to say Detroit Become Human. It reminds me of, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. It got, they got to a point where they had built a machine that made the robots. So, eventually, the humans would 100% not be necessary. But with that being said, also this. Given that I just came from the chapter where Marcus was caught in the, uh, dug, him, dug his way out of the, the garbage. They, in the 2000, whatever year this is, they still haven't figured out how to reduce waste. Because they throw the androids away. Power cells and all. 
they just throw them away. They don't like crush them down or break them into you know, like they don't recycle them. They throw them out. So they clearly haven't figured out a way to like to manage waste all this time later. It's weird. It's not. I mean, it's sad. No, honestly, it might just be proof that there is no uh, real answer to the waste solution, which isn't which isn't true. You learn how to make synthetic materials that can also biodegrade. Like that's the answer. I mean, or unless they can figure out that fucking fungus that eats plastic. But either way, like, it's uh, cy cybernetic children. <sighs> That's weird. Like, I totally understand that people don't want to necessarily have kids. I get that. But, it's still kind of weird. Thanks. They aren't people. The androids aren't people. That they're not. But they they resemble us too closely to not consider them kind of people. Which is not what I wanted to say, but it's what I said. They 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 have rights. They should have rights. But at the same time, if they if they start being able to make decisions on their own. It, it kind of, like, it breaks, it, it kind of breaks the objective. I don't know how else to, I don't know how else to put it. Because, call Hank Anderson. if you, if you if you gave your laptop the opportunity to not do something for you, like, if you add, have to, had to ask it, hey, do you feel like doing this thing for me right now? And it could tell you no. The question would be like, well, do I want to keep this laptop? Like, why the fuck would I keep it? That would be the question. Like, that's kind of the flaw in all of that is, but, but they're clearly designed to think like us. They're not designed to be robots. They're designed to have, they're not designed to have emotions, but they have, but they clearly have emotions. Like, and they look like us. Like, they're designed... Like, as he says... Uh, uh, You're right there, Chief? No. They're designed to assimilate. Meaning they're designed to look like us and make us feel comfortable when talking to them. So... It's... With that being said, it's almost exactly, you know... It's almost as if they're designed to take over. Which is a weird thing to say, but it's 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 as if they are designed to take over. Because they are designed to slowly it's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Claire is way faster hey. than Leon. In my office. That's not good to hear. That's not good to hear at all. Well, I'm, I'm fighting big forearm. Eyeball Monster Man again. I'm just noticing how much slower Leon is. I'm trying to dodge. I've got ten new I find it strange that they didn't give they didn't give us an actual dodge Those option. I mean, Leon didn't get one in four, but there were t th there were times when they did now, when he could. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. It's almost kind of funny to me that I'm struggling now that I have unlimited ammo. They're going to destroy me. I'm sorry. 
It's not what I wanted. I like it. But there's nothing I can do. It's not accurate. I know there's something you didn't tell me. Well, I kind of need to see. I need to know before they take you away. And Leon just does not move. What you wrote on the wall, RA9. What? What does it mean? Leon does not move quickly enough for my taste. He's a man, he doesn't have time for your shit. I guess. So I'm trying to deviate Connor this playthrough. Open the cell, quick. Hurry. I would like to point out that uh even now even now um when they say that it's going to self destruct it doesn't do what I think it would do but then again for them to design these uh for them to design these androids with an explosive device in their body so that they can detonate would also be dumb Well, that's that. So, what did you say about Leon? I wouldn't really. I was having a hard time. I was saying you slow. Slow? He is massively Look at slow. That. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. That's right, he doesn't have a house. He just goes somewhere. Hello, Detective Freed. I just realized, like, Connor doesn't have a house. Connor doesn't go somewhere and live. Like, when he goes home, he just, he goes to a, pla a box and just stands. Yeah. RK-800. I'm a prototype. Like, it just kind of crossed my mind that he doesn't have a house. Android detective. Hell, I guess I just realized he wasn't a person. So machine's gonna... Place us all. Like when it? Detective Reed was saying, like, hey, um Bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on. I didn't do it last time, but this time I will do it. You know what? If you could spit, I'd have him spit in your coffee. I would. I really would. What is your problem, bro? Like, what exactly is your issue? No, he don't want the coffee, Connor. Put the goddamn coffee down, you dumbass. You're making me look bad. Put the fucking coffee down. Jesus. Yeah, I know, Connor. We were just trying to be helpful. Sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant. I think we've seen this already. Moving on. Several years now, this would be the first. Okay.